Hey, in less than 24 hours, we will finally get to see what kind of software goodies that folks from Cupertino prepared for us this year. With iOS, iPadOS, watchOS, tvOS, and macOS being officially event superstars, the biggest question is still, will we witness some groundbreaking hardware release? Let's try and answer that. Hi friends and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors, and reviews. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button, and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is powered by Moft. Check out their latest cooling stand for MacBooks, as well as other origami based accessories for Macs, iPhones and iPads. Now let's go! Worldwide Developers Conference is special software trade that takes place annually for more than 30 years. Till now, we have seen numerous steps in creation and evolution of Apple's operative systems. As expected, this year we are to get a glimpse of what the next iterations of its software will bring. What we heard so far is that iOS may finally feature some kind of always-on display and more user-friendly widgets. Messages and notifications should be on the upgrade list too, while few predicts some interface changes. Maybe issues with voice message recording halted every time when you accidentally rotate your iPhone, for example? As far as iPad goes, enthusiasts like myself may look forward to similar treatment with allegedly better flavor of multitasking. We all know what we truly want from the iPad OS, right? Mac OS like window management and more professional software. Rumor mills suggested that the Mac OS will also feature a couple of changes, namely in settings which should follow visual cues from the iOS. If there is something that deserves overhaul, could be some system-based applications though. Apple Watch OS with some new faces, health and fitness, Improvements is always welcome, and no doubt about that, while tvOS so far remains mystery. Will Apple use this opportunity to tickle our expectations for the future with a quick preview of so-called reality OS? What do you think? Please answer below. What I do know that some of the earliest predictions about Apple AR, VR, glasses or headset were aiming at this year, so having this kind of anticipation shouldn't be a surprise at all. With this year's WWC coming tomorrow, folks from MacRumors.com wrote a throwback article in previous conferences and occasional hardware announcements. It's no secret that every year at this time, speculations mainly about the new Macs are hitting the ceiling. This year is no different. While the list of contenders for this year's sudden announcement include the MacBook Air, the new MacBook Pro with all design and Mac Pro, I did make a couple of videos giving chance to Mac Mini and even bigger iMac, eventually iMac Pro, as a possibility which indeed was indirectly suggested at one point, but now, mm -mm. New redesigned miniature Mac was also rumored so many times, but sadly Ming Chi Kuo completely squashed these expectations with just one of his tweets. The MacBook Pro that still follows old design school is not something that is in a way worth our attention, simply because this model will not offer anything new beside the upgraded silicon, if it is a serious upgrade at all. Somehow I assume that the next Apple chip will actually be introduced independently or along with other visually improved products. Macs for professionals already have a history of arriving at this time of the year, but let's see. If we take a closer look at the previous keynote back in March, it was already unveiled that there is one more Mac remaining to close this Intel chapter completely in Apple's 46 years old history. This would most definitely make sense. So afterwards, we can expect the reveal of the next gen MacBook Air in October, for example, just uh, one month after the iPhone iPad presentation. But wait, the MacBook Air is still possible even sooner, right now. One of the most prominent industry insiders, Mark Gurman, has shared his knowledge pointing at multicolored MacBook Air with the M2 silicon as most probable candidate for this year's developers conference. If we look at those color variants showcased on event invitation, this may seem promising. Personally, after a couple of uh, failed expectations, I prefer to remain skeptic. No, we won't see a thing, at least hardware-wise, but I wouldn't mind to get surprised. Anyway, see you tomorrow. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching this Tomakin channel. My name is Marco, talk to you soon, have an excellent day, bye.